he was just found with a bullet in his head one week before testifying, here's what he knew. It's strange but not ironic that one week before a key person was about to provide his crucial testimony in court, he was found dead with a bullet in the back of the head. Despite it being impossible to commit suicide this way, that's what his cause of death has been ruled as after being found dead in his Miami, Florida home. He's certainly not the first to be found this way with a certain connection, but he's the only one with the keys to the most damning information yet that was only a week from coming out. President Donald Trump has been reamed by the left over the past several days by referring to so-called the third world country of Haiti as a shithole. His comment was accurate of the area that's been struck by natural disaster and suffered under years of socialism. It's considered a third world country for a reason and the president just rightfully referred to it by a more blunt statement, without a care for who it would offend since it's the same as calling it third world, which is pretty much a third-rate place nobody wants to be. However, a heaping dose of irony just surfaced from this shithole that's connected to the supposed suicide death in Miami. Haiti didn't have to be a shithole today, in fact, there's only one reason they are after having received a heaping dose of funds. Money donated to this country through relief efforts was filtered through the Clinton's fraudulent foundation. Hillary and Slick Willie Bill made themselves look like philanthropists more than Trump and was something she spun to her advantage during her presidential campaign. It didn't help her to win and now she's even a bigger loser after it's being discovered that not only did she lie about her relief effort, she stole from the victims as well who are suffering in their shithole squalor. What's even worse, is that more people seem to be concerned with Trump calling Haiti a shithole rather than Hillary stealing donation money that was to go to making it not a shithole. Now, one innocent man with all the details has been shot dead and it's not suicide as authorities are calling it for reasons we can only believe they were paid to say. 100% Fed Up Reports It's no secret that the Clinton Foundation has been facing credible reports of robbing impoverished Haitians who were devastated by Hurricane Hannah in 2008, through their foundation. Haitians have been protesting for years outside of the Clinton Foundation offices over the theft of money that was donated by individuals and businesses to the Clinton Foundation that never made it to the poorest of the poor. One man was set to testify against the Clinton Foundation next week. That man was 50-year-old former Haitian government official Klaus Eberwein. He was found dead in his Miami home with a gunshot to the head that's been ruled a suicide by the Miami-Dade's medical examiner records supervisor. Think Vince Foster. Klaus Eberwein, a former Haitian government official who was expected to expose the extent of Clinton Foundation corruption and malpractice next week, has been found dead in Miami. He was 50. Eberwein was due to appear next Tuesday before the Haitian Senate Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission where he was widely expected to testify that the Clinton Foundation misappropriated Haiti earthquake donations from international donors. Eberwein, who had acknowledged his life was in danger, was a fierce critic of the Clinton Foundation's activities in the Caribbean island, where he served as Director General of the government's Economic Development Agency, Fonds d'Assistance Economique et Social for three years. According to Eberwein, a paltry 0.6% of donations granted by international donors to the Clinton Foundation with the express purpose of directly assisting Haitians actually ended up in the hands of Haitian organizations. A further 9.6% ended up with the Haitian government. The remaining 89.8%, .8%, or $5.4 billion, was funneled to non-Haitian organizations. The Clintons leave such a trail of misconduct that's only bound to catch up with them and has recently it has died repeatedly since Trump isn't willing to let all these sudden deaths go. The body count that continues to accumulate around Clintons has reached unprecedented levels. They operate under the mentality that dead men don't talk, which may be the case, but the evidence proves the truth. It's just sickening and ironic that the outrage in the country right now is over a word used to describe Haiti and not the blatant theft from the Clintons who could have fixed it with the funds they raised but chose to keep it for themselves. Making it much worse is that the man with the specific answers and details on this is dead, and it's not ironic. It's criminal and someone needs to pay for it. Her name is Hillary, it's Hillary.